Islamically, what's the definition of hijab? What do we mean by hijab? Now in the Arabic language, the word hijab means barrier. If there is a barrier between two things, we would say that there is a hijab between these two things. And Islamically, the definition of the hijab is that the hijab is a system comprised of a set of laws so that they are meant to establish modesty in the society. A system comprised of a set of laws meant to establish modesty in the society and to discipline the human beings with their desires. And that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He created two genders, the males and the females, men and women. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He placed desires within the human beings. And amongst the desires is the love and lust of each gender to the other. Men are attracted to women and women are attracted to men. This is the work of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this desire, this attraction that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala placed between the two genders is very strong. Such that if it is not controlled, if it is not tamed, it will become very dangerous. It will go out of control. And thus Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, because of how powerful this desire is, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He created men and women, males and females in this world, and they're mixed together in the same world. Thus, in order to prevent human beings of abusing this desire and turning into wild animals and beasts chasing after their desire, Allah devised a concept and a system called hijab. And this system is meant to what? This system is meant to limit these desires, to channel them through specific ways. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala plays guidelines with this desire. There are guidelines, there are rules, there are limits or else I will turn into an animal. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala placed a barrier between these two genders. That this desire attraction is too strong, there must be a barrier. And this barrier is called the hijab. So the rules of how males and females should conduct with each other and how they should direct their desires towards each other is called hijab. And hijab in Islam is divided into two parts. Hijab consists of two types. It's composed of two components. The first hijab is the physical hijab. That's the veil, the headscarf, the abaya that the women wear. And then you have the symbolic hijab or that is the social hijab. And that is the behaviors of each gender towards the other. How should each person behave in front of the other? The demeanor, the code of conduct of each in front of the other is called also the hijab. This is the second hijab. This is the social hijab. This is the symbolic hijab. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in one verse, apparently He speaks about this. He says in the verse, Ya Bani Adam, Qad anzalna alaykum libasan, yuwari sawatikum warisha wa libasu taqwa. Allah says that I have brought to you two types of clothes. The first is a physical type of clothes that we wear to what? To protect our bodies, to guard our private parts, and to beautify us. This is the first one. This is the physical. And then Allah says, وَلِبَاسُ taqwa. And there is another clothes. There is another type of clothes that Allah calls it taqwa, piety. So it's as if if I have piety, I have akhlaq, I have clothed myself with this piety. So it's a type of clothes. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala divides clothes into two parts, the physical and the social, the akhlaq. So he's telling us that hijab, in order for it to be effective in any society and establish modesty, there has to be both. There has to be the physical hijab, the veil, and there has to be the akhlaq. There has to be the modesty and the akhlaq and the manners and the demeanors and the conduct and the behaviors of each towards one another.